Hello friends, Fit Lego Guy Josh here, coming at you with a, a new video on the full thoughts on LegoCon. It happened just a few hours ago. Uh, we do have a lot of videos we are working on that we are uh, producing and they will be published uh, in the next couple of days. So be sure to be subscribed, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. And let's get into it. What are my thoughts? Uh, overall, I enjoyed LegoCon. I think it was better than last year, although I didn't watch last year, so I don't really have much to compare it to. But go ahead and let me know and let me know down in the comments what you thought, and if you watched last year's, was it an improvement or was it worse? Um, love to hear your thoughts. We had some really fun hosts with uh, Joel McHale, an actor and a, uh, a news anchor, Vic Hope, which I don't know much about her or see anything that she's in, but. Um, they both did a fantastic job. Joel is a natural, he's been in a lot of comedies, and so he was cracking uh, puns and jokes, which for me, I really enjoyed. Um, we got the the first set reveal that was, we got was the Sanctum Sanctorum. Uh, we got a little interview, we got some questions from fans. That was really good, that Sanctum Sanctorum looks amazing. Uh, go ahead and let me know if you're planning on picking that up when that uh, releases. Because, I mean, it might be too, I don't know, it's quite quite expensive. It's I think it's over two fifty to get your hands on that. Um, so it's definitely gonna cost a pretty hefty amount of coin to get your hands on that. But it looks pretty good. Uh, it covers from uh, Infinity War, the two Doctor Stranges, has different levels and floors. It's a, it's a modular building. So if you like the modular design, you're gonna love that. It would work well for anyone who's building a Lego city. You can put Saint Saint Dorm right in New York or whatever city you're building right there. You've got like different portals and whatnot and it looks really good. I'm introduced to the new theme coming that uh, we've all heard about is Avatar. Uh, the James the highest grossing James Cameron movie. Uh, so there and there's the rumors. We haven't seen much maybe we've seen a trailer before. Uh, but there's some a second, third, I don't know we Sound like from the producer that they're doing five or four, and so they just made a set from the first movie, and that's just going to be a big set. It's going to cost around one fifty. It has some animals. It, you got some four minifigures, and they're taller minifigures. Uh, one question I have is, do they connect to the horses like they do in the films? Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, you know, uh, they cover some things that I don't really care about, like Friends and. Uh, Minecraft, Mario, um, all things that are really cool. Uh, they did cover like, you know, old, bring back and uh, redesigning some older sets. From, like the 90s, they did, uh, they brought a castless brand new with this, you know, the older minifigs that are reprinted, redesigned. Uh, they're using the new Mortal Forces that was released uh, about 10 years ago. Oh, they're not using the old 80s style, but they are doing the newer uh, design the horse that has movable legs and whatnot, so that's gonna be really cool. Uh, I haven't seen those in the castle set, but that castle looks really good. It's it folds in and out, and it has really cool features. And uh, we also got the Galaxy Enforcer uh, spaceship, uh, designed very similarly off the first spaceship that was released to Lego, but just bigger. And you can see four minifigures in the cockpit. Something I wish that. Lego would do with the Millennium Falcon playset, but here we are. Yeah. Uh, and then the main thing that uh, you're all here for is Star Wars. That's what I cover. That's that's my passion. That's my bread and butter here. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, we got to look into the design building. We got to see them go down the carts and pick up pieces. Kind of show the behind the scenes. Got to see the uh, UCS uh, land speeder crash to the ground. Um, hopefully it's okay. Rest in peace. And uh, they had a shelf for things that they're working on uh, coming next year. Of course, we could not see, unfortunately. Uh, kind of wish could see what they're working on. Build the excitement, you know. Uh, but uh, we were not able to get that. But then we got the reveal of the two best Star Wars sets of this year. The Justifier and the ATTE both look phenomenal. The Justifier is super big. Uh, it's over a thousand pieces, a thousand and twenty-two. Um, looks really good. Uh, still haven't figured out why it costs more than the ATT. Let's get into it. Uh, Justifier, massive. It's a 15 by 19. It's 19 inches long, 15 inches wide. 
that is big. I don't know if it's going to fit on my shelves if I were to get it. Um, uh, these tests are also not available for pre-order, so that's a big bummer for me. Uh, but I think Lego knows what they're doing. Um, yeah, they would, they would pre-order were already been sold out. The moment those went live, yeah, we know that. Uh, that ATT is going to sell so fast. Uh, you'll be lucky, lucky if you can find it day one, so you're going to have to, as soon as the clock strikes midnight on August 1st, you're going to have to be ordering that. I'll be setting myself an alarm, to be honest, because there's no Lego stores near me that I can go wait outside for four hours, because I definitely would. Um, back to the Justifier, anyway, uh, it has some really cool minifigures, four minifigures. Uh, you got H Hunter, Omega, Fennec Shan, Cad Bane. Uh, Cad Bane got, uh, in my video about the minifigures uh, a little while back, um, he has a new helmet, uh, helmet, hat mold that I did not mention. Um, so they showed us that and we got a more depth in detail look. Uh, it also says it's from Bad Batch Season 2. Uh, I don't know if that means that Cad Bane's coming back or whether they just got the wrong season in there. Uh, probably they got the wrong season in there. We know the scene happens in season one if you've seen the show. Uh, Omega does not come with a bow uh, or a printed piece or anything to symbolize her little electro bow that she has in the show. Uh, that she should have. That's a missed opportunity for Lego there. But, uh, you know, for that price point, yeah. Still think it's about $10 a little too much. Uh, it has a, you know, fair, a good amount of pieces, but it has a little mini build that just. Uh, I'm wondering why. Uh, why is that mini build there? It's, it has nothing to do with the show. It has nothing to do with the set. It just it's just there. Um, so that's something I don't get. I want to get my hands on it. Uh, I can dive more into that. Um, then we got the ATD. Looks amazing. I mean, I can't tell you how good. I'm so excited for this. Like, I want to get my hands on day one. I don't know if that's gonna be possible, but we'll see. We'll see what kind of happens. Um, there. Um, it has eight minifigures, including three battle droids, three 212, a gunner, and Commander Cody. And they all look just amazing. And then there's a spider droid that's brick built. Uh, they should have, instead of spider droid, spider droid, put in the crab droid, but yeah, that's kind of a missed opportunity there. Uh, the set, like every detail looks amazing. The brand new foot design for the six walking legs are amazing. It has a handle, it has a removable cockpit that looks uh, newly designed and looks really good. It doesn't have the opening uh, hinged uh, cockpit like they've used in years past. And it's got a really detailed gun with two of those spring shooters on the side to symbolize it firing off, but it looks much more accurate to uh, what we've seen in the films. Uh, I will be going more into depth on that um, in another video. That is it. Um, so, until next time, may the force be with you.